If you're a fan of cooking or just enjoy good food, you'll want to check out Sarah Lohman's Eight Flavors, The Untold Story of American Cuisine. What I do is I focus on eight very common ingredients in American cooking, and I use these ingredients to tell the story of Americans. I use the ingredients to talk about what our culinary heritage is, but also to um, focus on different individuals that broadens the idea of who an American is. I talk about Texas Mexican women who sold chili. I talk about the Vietnamese refugee who brought sriracha sauce to America. So it's really a, a broad cast of people. Loman decided early on in life that she wanted to learn how to cook, and she owes it all to her mother and cake batter. My mom would bake, and she would stop me from eating the cake batter and cookie dough, and I realized that if I learned how to do it myself, there'd be no one to stop me from eating the cookie dough. So that was like my first foray, like six, seven years old, I would say. Um, and then I got more into cooking, and then in high school, I worked in a living history museum. It was in Ohio, it was 1848. I was in costume, I was in character eight hours a day over the summer, five days a week. And one of the things we did was cook in our historic home. So I was not only exposed to working with historic cooking equipment, but also um, ingredients and recipes. And that's the first time the concept was introduced to me. And after I went to art school, after I moved to New York City, it's just something that stuck with me, this fascination with what people ate in the past. She first publicly explored her love of cooking and ingredients in her blog, Four Pounds Flour which has given her a new perspective on food and a new title for herself. I decided to call myself a historical gastronomist. It's actually a turn of phrase that a food writer in uh, New York used when he was describing the sort of cocktail revival of these old time cocktails. And I thought it, it suited me because I had a undergraduate degree in fine arts. And so I didn't want to say, yes, I'm an academic. I have a, a history degree. Um, and I also hadn't worked in a kitchen as a professional chef. And I sort of wanted to give the respect to both of those professions and make it more about bridging the gap between those two people and all of the curious foodies in between. So I picked historical gastronomist to talk about how I look at the past to understand why we eat what we eat today, but also to inspire my contemporary cooking too. Baltimore County Public Library featured Loman during its 2017 BC Reads Eat Up series of programs. BC Reads is a month-long community reading event featuring author visits, book discussions, and other events designed to encourage conversation and a deeper connection to one another. Oh, I think it's really cool. I, you know, that's something that I said uh, when I met some of the organizers, that I think food is a great way to, to introduce more difficult issues. Um, so in a way, you know, over the month, I heard about some of the other books, like the picture books. I love bacon, I love cupcakes, you know, that there was a cookbook, there was a fiction book. I really love exploring this idea of food and really recognizing how many parts of our life it permeates, um, that it can be a cookbook that it can be a nonfiction narrative, that it can be a picture book, that it can be fiction. Um, and all of these things are still talking about family, identity, community, and in my books, social justice, politics, racism, xenophobia, um, while at the same time also having pages that are gonna make your mouth water. So I think it's such a wonderful vessel to talk about humanity.